There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It's a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is in the middle ground between light and shadow, between the past and the future, between sanity and madness, lies the mystery of the dark relics. There are many theories on what these dark relics could mean for the future of the Sea of Thieves. Why has everyone been collecting mega kegs? Who are they trying to summon with these dark relics? And why is Duke so calm? Could he be the Dark Lord? Let's first talk about the Hexing Skull. There's a pirate that goes by the name of Bushwookery who thinks that the Order is actually the ones creating the skeleton fleets and crews. They use the skull to hex and curse the crews that wrong them, and when they die, they become the skeleton crews that we are sent out to fight. The crews are stealing back the hexing skulls to release them from their prison so they may rest, rather than live forever continuously fighting. An interesting theory, but it's just a theory. Stray Chris, that violent pirate of the ancient isles, rest in peace, Harold, thinks that the dark relics are something that will conjure a very sinister foe within the world that we have not yet heard of. While Goldbond thinks Duke is preparing us for some kind of war and needs some dark magic to help us all. Another pirate I was talking with in the tavern one day, who goes by the name Tagger, thinks the Order of Souls are afraid of facing a cursed foe that won't die. Given the nature of the undead and the inherent ability for them to rise again, he thinks it would require more than sheer force to have some way to seal the enemy away. If the relics were stolen, and I emphasize the if, what if the skeletons are trying to take control of the Sea of Thieves? Wanda's attempt failed, the Gold Hoarder never truly amassed a force, so then perhaps an ancient evil to the sea is reaching back from beyond the confines of the relic themselves. What could this ancient evil be? Deadlock the pirate legend believes the dark relics are connected to the past and the krakens of old. The designs of the skull remind him of something used for old cultures, typically based off voodoo. Then there's the evil eye, and the box based off of what appears to be kraken. Perhaps it is all leading into a tall tale about the Great Mother, preventing her resurrection. Who knows? But what I do know is one day I was drunk in the tavern after a long day of pirating with one of my mates, Sia the First, and he was on his 26 grog muttering things under his breath, and I took notice. This is what he muttered. The skellies are stealing these relics, so are they trying to summon something? Their souls are driven by greed, so do they want to rule the seas? Do they want more treasure? The artifacts we are digging up are devil remnants which resemble the devil's roar. What does the roar have? Fire? Annoying volcanoes? Flames. Lots of flames. Maybe Flameheart? And if it is Flameheart, a pirate by the name of Cavalier thinks Duke and the Order are trying to stop his resurrection, and the tall tales that will be coming will be trying to retrieve the last set and having to stuff Flameheart back through his portal. In the end, no matter what, something big is coming into the Sea of Thieves, and may the Whale Lord have mercy on us all.